Welcome back, Cave Dwellers. I'm Bobby, and this is the Critter Cave. Okay, so I received a package from Tom Patterson this morning, and this is my birthday present to me. So let's open it up and see what we've got. Okay. All right, lots of packaging. Looks good. Okay, so I found it. <laughs> Make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope. All right, set that out of the way. <clears throat> okay, open this up. And make sure everything's all right. There we go. First one, Salmopius Armenia. I've been wanting to get one of these, and uh, so now we've added that to the collection. All right, this will work for now. We just want to take a peek in there, make sure everything looks good. Yeah, I don't think you can see it, but there's definitely a little bit of movement going on in there. So let's check on the rest, and then we'll do the rehousing. Kilobrachis species Saraburi. I, this will be my first Asian fossorial. Oh, oh, that one's a little bit bigger than the other one. Definitely looks good. Okay. I've been thinking about getting a Keelabrachis, and when he stated that these are a must-have for poop brown tea collectors, I had to get it, because I have very little color in my collection for some reason. I just tend to gravitate towards the so-called dull species. I say just because they're brown doesn't mean that they're dull. And then this one is, oh, I didn't show you. This is the P. striata, the uh, Pusillotheria striata. And this will be my third pokey species. I just think they're so cool. which when I first started getting into the hobby, I wasn't really interested in arboreals. Yep, there's movement in there. Looks good. We'll get, get this one a home sorted in a, in a few minutes. I didn't want to set up houses ahead of time because I wanted to make sure that I had the right size housing. Ah. And then these are both... Androctonus bordoni. I don't know if you can see that. 
couple of little scorpions. Um, I don't remember if they have a common name or not. Oh, it's a little bitty. But it's definitely looking good in there. So fantastic. Excellent, excellent. And then it's sibling. Yeah. It's... Hmm. Hmm, this one doesn't look like it's moving. Okay, I'm going to get it, get something set up for it so I can get it out of there and get a better look. That one doesn't look like it's moving. Okay, as you can see, we're just going to have a real simple setup to begin with because they're still tiny and uh, see how they're doing and then we'll upgrade them into something bigger and better later on so let's see about this one that wasn't moving okay. there we go And you can't see anything from my hands in the way. There we go. And we're just going to see if we can get this unrolled. There we go. I'll tell you what, this paper towel is not cooperative. Okay, well, there's the little guy. Still. No. Oh, I don't think you made it. Well, there's, there he is. There's no movement at all, the poor thing. It doesn't look like there was an issue with the packaging. I mean, it looks like there was no reason why it shouldn't have been fine. Just sometimes when they're this small, they don't, they don't make it. It happens with, with babies, whether they're spiders or scorpions, either one. Yeah, oh, poor guy. Okay, well, we'll set him aside for now. And let's hope that we've got better luck with the other one.
this one not make it either? This paper towel could be more cooperative, you know. No, nope, this one's moving. This one's moving. There you go. Okay. He's stubborn, but he's he's moving. He's doing all right. How about you come down here? Oh, there he goes. And now I don't see him. Is he on the paper towel still? Yep, he sure is. There he goes. All right. So, there is the new edition, and you can barely see him, because he's teeny tiny, but he is right there. He gets a little bit of size on him, and I'll put him in a bigger home with some cork bark. Let's put a little water dish in there for him. There we go. And that should take care of him for a little bit. I'll try and feed him in another day or so. See if he'll take a little roach nymph okay so we are going to do the kilobrachies next I've made a little starter burrow for him down here and put some fake plants around for him a little water dish hopefully He'll go right into his little burrow there and not give me any problems. Okay. Right out of there, nice and easy. There. Oh, look at him. He's so cute and little. Okay. Now, can I get you to go in your new home? Will you please? This way. This way. It's all right. There you go. There. Okay, well that went really well. It's there on the moss. And I'm going to go ahead and put a lid on this before I tempt fate. And push my luck. Okay. So there's one down on the spiders. Okay, I think we'll do the Erminia next. These are just going to be temporary setups because I suddenly realized that I don't actually have a lot of tall stuff of small sizes. So I will definitely be looking to uh, upgrade them after a molt or two. But this will give them a chance to get settled in and relaxed. I have been seeing these on everybody else's channel, and I've been so jealous. And now I have one. 
a little bitty baby one. And there went my light. Okay. So. That is good and in there, isn't it? Oh, here it comes. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Look at that pretty baby. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. I've got some fake plants and a little bit of cork bark and a little water dish. And she's like, nope, I'm going to go hide in the folds of the paper towel. Come on. Come on, there's better places to hide out here. There you go. There you go. That is absolutely not... No, no, no. You're going the wrong way, kiddo. And this is why you use a tub around your enclosure. Let's see if we can... And she jumped off. That's awesome. All right, there we go. I'll tell you what, I am just going to see if I can get you to come out of there. Oh, yeah, I'm pissing her off. And right up towards my hand. No, that's, that's not what I want you to do either. You know? There. There. Oh, she's even prettier than I expected. Okay, so she is going down under the plants in her new home. And she is gone. Okay. And as usual, I don't know if these are male or female. This is just me being hopeful. And now, the striata. Let's see if we can get this one out of here without any hassles. All right. Out of the container. Um, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Such a pretty baby. How are you today, huh? You've had quite the adventure, haven't you? Let's go ahead. There goes my dang light again. Let's go ahead and get you in your new home now. There you go. Right down on that plant would be fantastic. Nope. Right around the paper towel. There we go. There. That was pretty simple. You can see her there. Halfway on the cork bark. You are gorgeous. Yeah, this one's not going to stay in that container very long. She's she's pretty decent size. So pretty. Well, it was a bummer about the, the little scorpion baby, but 
as I said, sometimes that happens in uh, in shipping, and I've notified the seller. I'm sure that it'll be taken care of. I'm not even concerned about that, but uh, still a shame. But I have four more babies, and they are absolutely adorable, and this is definitely a great start to a happy birthday. So thank you so much for watching, and... Um, I'm sure you'll be seeing these guys in feeding clips soon.